Hey everybody, it's Coach Tom. Uh, this is another edition of the TL Performance Podcast on YouTube. And I'm sitting up here in the beautiful Hollywood Hills overlooking LA. As you can see, our weather is gorgeous. This is why I enjoy living here. Lots of really good hikes. Those are kinds of activities that you like. And this was uh, the wisdom tree. If you're in LA, you can, can't go down to the actual sign, but you can go up and it's pretty amazing views, especially on a beautiful day. Um, yeah, so talking about goal setting and also kind of along with that, um, the way professionals, health professionals address what people want or don't address, it's more like they don't address. And I don't, I may have talked about this before, but this happened this week again, so that's why I thought I would talk about it. You know, when you go to a, a trainer or you go to a professional or you go anywhere, usually you get a really brief questionnaire. It doesn't really talk, give you a chance to say much of anything. And then the goals that people have oftentimes aren't well thought out. And where do, where do, you, where do you go from there? You don't. So this week I got an email from a potential client wondering and saying, asking me some brief questions like, uh, would you do this? Would you do that? Do you have experience with that? And I uh, said, well, you know, let me, I'd like to know a little bit more about you. And one of their goals, I said, why do you want to train? What's your, what are your goals? And what motivated you to seek, seek my uh, guidance? And the response was get in shape. And then the second response to the same thing, because this was written by the way, get in shape. So I wrote a whole thing on LinkedIn because it got my brain going. What exactly does that even mean in shape? But it's something, if you said that to everybody on the street, they would know what you mean, right? And the reason that they know is because it's a mainstream saying that you see all the time, but it's not really ever clearly defined. So we recognize the saying, but we don't really have a clear idea of what exactly that means. Because if you, let's say you're a marathon runner, you're being in shape to run a marathon is going to require completely different things than if you were a bodybuilder or if you were a sumo wrestler, a American football player, soccer player, a swimmer, or if you were going to hike Mount Everest. So hopefully you uh, get my gist here. In shape is a relative term, but it is really taken on the context of losing weight. And that has more to do, I think, with commercial interests than anything to do with training. And I want to, while I don't advocate that you are overweight, because there is there's definitely a healthy weight range, right? That's going to put less stress on your heart, less stress on your joints. You're going to feel better, be happier, all that kind of thing, and extend your life. But focusing on how lean you are or how much how much you weigh has zero to do with your athletic abilities, your strength, your speed, your endurance, your flexibility it has nothing to do with that. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with your skill in a sport. So being in shape is a, is a relative term. So when you're setting goals for training, no matter if you're an athlete or a general population, because it's all the same, you still want to do the same thing. You will have a more enjoyable training process as well as a more successful one. If you set a goal for something specific, and if you, if you don't know right away, pick something and it can be small. Even if it's, I just want to be on a consistent routine, that is still a goal. And oftentimes losing weight and being healthier comes as a byproduct from doing all those things. So it's just, uh, it's not gonna go away anytime soon. It's part of marketing, you know, we look at all the, if you see a guy who's muscle, muscle bound and lean, everyone assumes that whatever he's doing is the best thing for you. Even if you don't look like that or don't wanna look like that. And you don't know if he's doing steroids, which probably a lot of them are. Um, you can, by the way, you can become must, must, you know, big, strong, and lean and not take steroids. It's just that uh, I wouldn't trust a lot of the bodybuilders that you see or the images that you see in magazines and on social media. It doesn't have to read magazines anymore um, to be clean, if you know what I'm saying. So, like, let's take an American football lineman, for example. Like, they're fat, you know, but they're fast, powerful, and strong. Probably could be a little more flexible. That happens in pretty much every sport nowadays because nobody stretches, unfortunately. But they are they wouldn't be the image. Can you imagine if a training program used them as their marketing image? 
that would be laughable, but they're in shape for what they're doing. And the same is true of a sumo wrestler. I used to go to down to uh, Long Beach, Long Beach State, Long Beach State University a few years ago. It was the last time I went. They, I don't know if they still do it there, but they used to have this in the uh, US, it might have been the US Open or something like that. It was a international sumo competition. And it's very fun to go I encourage you. It's cool, it's interesting. And those guys, let me tell you, again, these are fat guys, but they are super flexible, first of all. They are agile, they're strong, powerful. And can you imagine if you use them as like the marketing image for a training program? No, it wouldn't happen, but they're in shape for what they do. So it's just, uh, just food for thought. Next time, it, even when you, when you look at images on social media or you come across these things, if you're not looking for it, just keep in mind that it's uh, that you keep that in the back of your mind before you start to decide on what, how, what you should think of it and how you value it. And when you're setting your own training goals. So if you have questions, uh, you can email me at tom at tlperformancela.com. You can find me on Instagram at coach Tom Leggett. Facebook, TL Performance LA, I'm getting better. And of course, comment below. And if I do, if you don't follow me, you don't know me, please subscribe. And yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening. See you next time.